What's up, Ipa fans? This is Raphael from C Mango, and I'm joined by Reese. Good day. Good day, sir. And we're here to give you a review of Hegemina Ipa Rising, episode 20, A Lesson Never Forgotten. And wow, the war between the two birds just seems to get more bloody. Dude, seriously, they need to stop doing this. <laughs> Second episode in a row, yeah, it just ended without me realizing it. Dude, it's it's like that's getting good, into, though. Getting into it and then it's like, credits. Like, what? <laughs> You know, what they, you know what they say though you um lose track of time when you're enjoying yourself so that kind of just shows how, how good it's these episodes it's are it's isn't it? they're just like oh yeah this fight's getting awesome it's like, I know. what <laughs> uh but yeah I love this fight man <laughs> it is um i don't know what to say but it does but then that was how it was composed was really good. Like, I mean, most of last episode, you just see Eagle leading Takamura into a plan. And then in this one, you literally have Takamura leading him into a plan. And Dude, i got to say, they are fighting on some very, very even terms. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. The level or oh, the playing field is very even between them two. And it just seems like no one really has much of an advantage over the other. Yeah, there's this a lot point. of give and take. Yeah. So like, okay, someone starts taking lead. Oh, it switches roles completely. Oh, then it switches again. It's like, wow, what is going on? Mm. It's like Definitely, we don't yeah. usually see this type of thing in Takamura's bouts. Yeah, it's usually it's a one shot KO. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or it's you know the Brian Hawk fight, which is like, oh my god, Takamura's getting hurt. Yeah. This is just even scales, man. It's weird. I think it's kind of um, good because you know, obviously, him returning to his original weight class. That's given back you know most of his power and stamina so he wasn't as struggling as much in this as he was in the hawk fight because you could tell he was severely crippled in that yeah, going into was, the fight yeah in this one you, <laughs> well, you saw see... his, well, you saw in the match before his hawk fight man it was pretty much messed up his weight control and came out yeah, looking like a skeleton he was a mummified man but in this one, <laughs> he's just been on ball like, i mean straight from the start as well that that the um, little trade-off they had last time was brilliant but that was last time. This time now, I mean, Takamura says he has a plan and everyone seems to assume that he's stupidly just swinging until he can land a hit. But Which that was pretty the case. much was doing, though. <laughs> when yeah. you, actually, you know, you actually think about it. It's like, when you think down to it, yeah. what he was doing. It was originally, but we actually see that, yeah, he started to get his thoughts back into the game and we see that little cheeky lean in. He leans into Eagle and lands one of the most disgusting body blows I think we've seen so far. Dude, it was Archer's little slip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was on filthy ass liver blow, man. It's like, seriously, you know, obviously we've seen what Ippo's liver blows do. Yeah, they You know, they commit, look like a frigging supermodel after yeah, he's done with you. So much. Takamura's, my God. You end up looking frigging bulimic after that. Or he's taken a chunk out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never it, eat again. Well, it, it was just, wow. I mean, he pretty much from then on, he got the advantage back and he just started wailing that like, this filthy combo at Eagle who was trapped in the corner. And then when he lands these, like, the second body blow, if it wasn't for the uh, round four ending, he would have um, <laughs> he would have been knocked out. I mean, that Jesus. Oh, Jesus. my God. The English. <laughs> yeah, literally. I mean, the guard was pulled away and he's slowly looking at this punch that most likely would have knocked him clean out. And he's just Jesus. like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that was probably the best description, though, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jesus. Still, man, that's one of the funniest words to ever come out of someone's mouth, man. It's like, not like shit, not fuck, not yeah, oh my or, God, but or Jesus. Or anything. <laughs> I think that's the funniest English I've seen in the series um, since New Challenger when we kept seeing, um, what is it? Um, Bloody Cross. Yeah, Bloody Cross. <laughs> Bloody Cross. I really do love when they put English in it, man. It just like, it, bring, it kind of breaks the, you know, the fourth walk. <laughs> yeah, it just makes it so much better. It does. It's really entertaining. But. <laughs> Yeah, after that fourth round, um, we see Takamura's calm down and we have a little, you know, glimpse into why he's executed this plan and he remembers the intense training, you know, Kamigaya made him go through. So That's his lesson that he never forgot. Yeah, literally a play on the title. 
that pretty much was the title, and that's yeah. the last we see of it. <laughs> exactly, because it kind of just went, you know, straight past that. And it's like, yeah, done with that. Now let's get on with the fight. <laughs> but what followed after that, though, man? Come on, round five beginning. That was destructive. Dude, that, dude, uh, Takamura that, is just filthy. I'm sure he should have he should have taken off Eagle's head with that uppercut right straight. I mean, he he was knocked around right onto his back. I don't even think Eagle knew that was gonna happen. That charge in. But it's one of the things, man. It just goes to show like how strong Eagle actually is. Yeah, because he got back up. Dude, no one has lasted that long against Takamura. No, really, and truly. No I'm... one ever lasts that long. <laughs> it's one of the things. It's like once Takamura starts hitting you properly, it's over. Exactly. Look how many times this guy has one hit KO'd people. It's like he could last however long, the rounds could go for him however long, yeah. you know, he can't hit him. But second he hits him, it's over. Round done. And as I said, that was two solid hits to the jaw. Everyone thought he was down, but um, what I was impressed with is, you know, Takamura is usually gloating and like, yeah, I've done it. He he was standing around, he's like, oh yeah, you're all loud. But it's like, I expected him to get up. And he did as exactly what he thought. Yeah, man. Eagle got up, he looks exactly like, well... Someone else who acts exactly like that. Exactly. And who is that person? Mr. Makanochi Ippo. Yep. Takamura actually like likened Eagle to Ippo, man. Mm. It's that tenacity. Yeah, because when he saw the flawless, you know, textbooks one, two, the talons of death, and the look <laughs> in <laughs> and the look in his eyes and the textbook, you know, style of fighting, he was like, Oh, I know how your opponents must feel, that annoying persistence that clean style of fighting it's like i'm fighting against ippo which would be a very interesting fight that would must be say. could you imagine if they were both in the same weight class for that that would never ever happen no. i know no i'm could just saying happen. like you know a dream fight and we I mean, already saw something close enough to that in the movie anyway mm. the arm wrestle <laughs> but yeah that was um this is when things kind of started to go a bit downhill and bloody was yeah, that dual man. exchange between them two. Which, unfortunately, ended up getting Takamura's eye cut. Mm. And then after that was one of the weirdest kind of things you'd see, man. You know what I mean? So, it's like, obviously, Eagle's talking about his whole thing. of like, oh, yeah, he's tired of like all the precautions he's taking. Yeah. He's always been so... He's always had that like urge to win. Now he's finally found someone he can test his strength on. Yeah. Like, you know? Which is a bit stupid. I, I must think say, he, yeah, that I think is the I, one thing you never yeah. want to do. Takamura is not the type of guy you want to test strength out on. Mm. It's the type of guy you want to try and beat down as fast as possible before he kills you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's why I think it's 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 one of them things with Eagle. He, you know, he kind of overrated him and underrated him at the same time. It's like he expected this kind of strength, but it's at the same time he kind of thought, yeah, I'm strong enough to handle it. Like, you know, by drawing it out. It's because it's like, it's like he kept saying, isn't it? He keeps thinking that he's like Brian Hawk. Yeah. But at the end of the day, he's, he's not because he defeated... Bri- yeah, because he was the one who defeated Brian Hawk. Exactly. If he would have sat there and actually seen the match by, match himself, he would have seen like... He would have realised that... It yeah, wasn't yeah. just a street fight. There was actually proper boxing into it. Mm, it was literally light and day because um, Takamura's style was more refined. It was, you know, pure boxing while um, Hawk was using limbo. <laughs> like, literally... <laughs> So, yeah, that was basically Eagle's downfall. He kept put, saying that, oh, yeah, they're from the same cut of cloth. And then when he finally started to realise that this guy is actually a refined boxer, a little bit too late for that because there was no turning back after that point. Exactly, man. The whole testing his strength out, man. It's like, mm. obviously, Takamura's eyes cut, yeah? Instead of taking full advantage of it, he's going for body blows. Exactly. It's like, when I first saw it, though, I was kind of thinking, okay, he's probably, like, being cautious of him, you know? Yeah, like, or oh, just trying to He knows to he's going to go for it, therefore he's going to block yeah. it, therefore he's going to go for his open body. Mm. Simple. But then, or, you know, it could have been, like, a little bit of a ploy to do something else that he's trying yeah. to lead into, like, weaken yeah. him down to do something else later, but no, he's just being sporting. Yeah, he's basically wanted a clean fight. Fight and he was being a gentleman, but in the ring there is none of that. Obviously, you have to have a clean fight, no headbutt and whatever. But when there's opportunity like that, you literally you have to go for blood. You have to go for the neck. Exactly, and... which we kind of see in a little role reversal within like what two minutes? <laughs> two minutes, literally. End of round five, start of round six. Takamura is peed off because not only does he think Eagles taking him lightly, 
the crowd and camera guys saying, oh, you should be grateful and show the same courtesy. And it's like, courtesy, my art. Why swing, slip, headbutt? Exactly. I bleeding. Yeah. And then and it's then... like, okay, you're bleeding. Cool. Blind spot. Bam, bam. <laughs> Blind spot. Bam, bam. I'm going to rip that open. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, literally, he's like, I don't care about testing my strength against you. I didn't even know who the hell you were before this fight. I want that belt. Exactly. On a mission. And that is what a boxer should be like. You know, you, he wants to win. He wants the belt. He doesn't want to test his strength. Exactly, man. So then after that, Eagle finally came to his senses. Mm. After and another he's... little, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that English, though. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, then the slugfest, man, in round seven, that was pretty much level playing field again, isn't it? Exactly, and then that's where the bloody episode ended. <laughs> ah, so frustrating. But overall, it was, you know, it was enjoyable. It was very entertaining. Um, I there think there is like, obviously one point in the yeah, episode which did to... feel a bit like, why bother kind putting it in? Asked. I was going to bring that up. Um, the retinal detachment, I feel like it doesn't really have a place in the episode or in the series at all. I mean, in the manga, it was much deeper situation. I mean, you might as well say there was a mini arc with it and even Ippo knew about it long before the um, fight. Basically, well, in, Ippo found yeah. out a bit about it straight after Miata found, about, found out about it. You know, he rang him up on the phone, t- told him about it, and Ippo went off, spoke to Sinada about it, about, oh, what can we do to find out and stuff like that. And then it's like, okay, Dekor was like, no, just leave it. I'm cool. It's nothing. You, yeah. know? It's not, you know, it's nothing. Then obviously when this part here came up in the fight, it was just like, oh, my God, he could be blind. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? So the way they did it in this episode just That's felt sorry. a bit kind of half fast. Yeah, though. half fast. That's what I was saying. I, I can understand where they're coming from. Me and Reese have already said that because of the limited episodes and time schedule, they don't have enough time to go through all of that, which is fine, but I feel like putting it in was pointless then because you know, it just seems like it just was weird. It was just like, oh, um, don't do anything um, suspicious. Um, Edgy Dutte might find out. And then it's like, but he seems fine because he's been doing well so far. So it's like, that was the end of that. It's like, it's like, why bother putting that in there? Yeah, it was it was to not needed. It. But either way, that's not going to ruin the thing for me. It just seemed, as you said, kind of out of place being there. Yeah, so they should have just left it out. And, yeah, it would just yeah. been better without it even being there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They should have just took it out altogether. But either way, it's there, it's done. Exactly, wasting read, air time. <laughs> read, read the manga if you're interested. Trust me, <laughs> it's very, very interesting. Yeah, interesting little subject. Yeah, so, other than that, happy with this episode. Yeah, brilliant. Next episode looks like it's end, the end of the fight. We see who wins the belt. And then bring on the little Coach Kamigawa mini arc. Post war arc, yes. Woo-hoo. Not wait for that. It's got to be the most emotion. I mean, we're all good. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see like what kind of emotions it's ringing it, out. It is very emotional, <laughs> man. Very, very emotional. Kamigawa and Nakota's backstory. Good, damn. Um, but yeah, I guess that ends it here for a whole nother week. Mm. So yeah, guys, um, you know the usual thing to do at the end of these things. Leave some comments, leave some ratings, and check out the other stuff we do. So I guess we will catch you next week. Yep, guys, catch you in the next round.